but I'm warning, bro. Ah. Hello, guys. Welcome to another exciting, entertaining, and informative video here on the Foam TV. My name is the Foam Um Today, I am in a town called Kronom. Kronom is a suburb of Kumasi, so it's behind Kumasi at the moment. And this is a project that we've been doing for a while. And today, I feel it's this time to let you guys know how far we have gone in this project. Now, if you look behind me, this is a 5,000 capacity catfish farm. Now, this 5,000 capacity catfish farm has 2,500 capacity uh, ponds. That is 15 feet by 15 feet each. And then we have 2,000 capacity um, tarpaulin ponds. That is 15 by 10 feet each. So each 15 by 10 feet is taking 1,000 fingerlings. So we have two of them making 2,000. And then we have 15 um, by 15, which is taking 1,500 um, fingerlings each. So two of them making 3,000. So if you add 3,000 to the 2,000, we have a 5,000 capacity catfish farm. Um, and um, one thing I like about this project is that this is about the tightest space we have had to work on a project like this. If you can see, every space in this backyard is used. Again, this is somebody's backyard. This is a very small space, but we've been able to, you know, squeeze a 5,000 capacity tarpaulin catfish farm here. Um, I like stories, you know. I like to know reasons why people do what they do. So I'm going to introduce the owner of this business or this project to you. Let him tell us what inspired him, what he's looking out for, and why catfish farming. So if today is your first time here on this channel, please click on the subscribe button, share this video, and leave us a comment. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So this is the pond that we chose to stock our fingerlings. Now this is a 15 by 15 feet pond. I told you that anytime you want to stock fingerlings, I like to stock all of them in one pond, which helps with the management of those fingerlings and you know um, the uses of usage of water and everything. So this is where we stock our fingerlings and we are going to go into the stocking process in a minute. But I wanted us to talk to the brains behind this project, the man who, whose vision it is that we are here today to start this project. So he tells us what his, his experience is, why he wants to go into catfish farming, what are his expectations, and then uh, maybe somebody out there will learn a thing or two. Okay. So bro, okay. welcome to your phone team. Thank you. Okay. So first of all, I want you to introduce yourself to us. So, what's your name? Okay. My name is William Sufuria Nkoma. William. And I, I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Okay. So I live in uh, Kronom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the exact place that I live. And okay. this is my farm. Okay. Okay. So do you have a name for this farm? Oh, I'll call it Anko. Anko. Anchor yeah. farms. Anchor farm. So anchor That's farms. So, okay, so anchor yeah. farms. Anchor farm. So you know, um I like to share stories. I mean you were a young man, you could have done any other thing else. Okay. Uh, why cartridge farming? Okay. So about two years ago mm -hmm. I was at least watching YouTube. So mm -hmm. I came across a video, it was mm -hmm. Kantanga. Okay. Yeah, so he was doing farming and it okay. was catfish farming. Okay. Upon all his words, okay. yesterday he decided to go into farming. Okay. At first, if you are a young guy, when you see someone into farming, you, you thought see that, that person was that a poor person. person. Is, it's not like a poor person. That person is not civilized or something like that. Okay. 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 So when I saw him doing that, it inspired me to go into that thing. So okay. I was uh, considering to businesses that's mm -hmm. frozen fish and uh, mm -hmm. catfish okay but you know this frozen fish yes you have to go outside and import them it, yeah. and it's going to put pressure on our cities okay yeah so i decided to go into catfish mm -hmm. and another person that inspired me was a plus a plus a plus Kwame a plus yeah Kwame a plus oh you yeah, love I, to hear this story yeah i saw him okay. doing some small in his house in his house yeah and it inspired me 
So I decided following YouTube to check whether I will get more information. Okay. So I came across a four minute. Wow. Yeah. So okay. for one to two years I've been watching a four minute. Okay. And one day I took my phone yeah. and I called a four minute. And, and it was very good to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for all the promises that you've been seeing inside his video uh -huh. that's exactly he delivers, he delivers. Oh, okay. Um, okay i'll be honest okay. with you okay okay so so guys um i i just want to summarize everything that he said so he started watching he started doing some research on a business he wants to do first of all he saw apostle kojo safo's fish farm and he was inspired because this is a wealthy man so why would he go into farming you know the mentality of the youth is that farming is not for the youth it's not for the civilized so this man was inspired and again he saw Kwame A plus catfish farm in his backyard which also inspired him to get into uh, more research and then he found a Fumuhine, gave me a call and then the, the, the rest as they say is history but I want to know before you thought about doing something on your own okay. what were you doing okay so whilst I was watching YouTube I was in uh, Dubai you had traveled to Dubai. I was in Dubai okay. and it was not easy. So okay. I decided to come back. Okay. So I was like, I was thinking, so whilst I'm coming back, what am I going to do? Okay. What am I, because you cannot just come back and be staying Think, at home. Yeah. People are going to say that you don't have any vision or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's why I decided checking the possible way that I can make a living for myself. Okay. That's why then I chose. Catfish, catfish is, um, yeah, catfish. Um, and that's what led you to give me a call. Yeah, to give How me long a... were you in Dubai? For two years. Whoa. Yeah, for two years I was in Dubai. So as soon years. as you landed there, you had plans of you know coming back to settle and do something yeah. on your own. I've always been a business. I've always been a businessman. Okay. Yeah, I was a businessman. I was into some small, small, small scale businesses okay. before you I traveled. left. Yeah. Okay. Because things were not working the way I wanted it to, you mm -hmm. know. And so when I was in Dubai. I was thinking, was mm -hmm. my aim is, in life is to be a businessman, not okay. to work under somebody. under somebody. I'm not saying that those that works under people, they mm -hmm. don't have vision or no something disrespect. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah. But everybody has his own choice or yeah. something. Sure, like that. sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. So sure. that's why I decided to go into cafe business, wow. and uh, I have passion for this thing. You know? Even seeing them alone. Okay. Issues, okay. 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 So far, so I mean, let's let's show people around the project. I want you, uh, because you are the visionary, you are the man who came up with this idea. Okay. What is this farm? This is, um, what capacity? Tell us about this project. Okay, so this is a 5,000 capacity cartridge. Good. Yeah, so we have four coupling pumps here. Yeah. One is, uh, two is 15 by 15 feet. Yeah. That can contain 1,500 capacity cartridge. And we have 15 by 10 feet, like yeah. this one. Yeah. It can contain 1,000. Good. Yeah, so this is a catfish farm. We don't know, maybe tomorrow what God will bring. Maybe we can expand. Scale. Yeah, okay. We can scale this up to maybe what God needs. So. Good, good. So, guys, we came here and then we saw the space that we had to work with. And trust me, it was it was a very small space. Yeah. If I tell you the kind of work we've had to do here to create this space yeah. so we get a 5,000 capacity, you'll be amazed. And that that tells a lot about the endurance of uh, Mr. Williams right here because he was, I mean, bent on getting this project done at all costs. So, what's the experience so far? I mean, the full moon, I came here, I, I, I made some promises, I mean, you made some payments. What was the experience like? It was very good, I must be honest with you. Okay. At first, my wife thought that maybe mm -hmm. this was a scam or something like that. Okay. You know, so he was always putting pressure on me. Do you think that this guy that you paid money to, do you think he will come or something like that? Yeah. And I said, oh, please, yeah, let's look on God. Yeah. He will come. Yeah. So one day I was there, he called me that. Uh, Williams, we've sent that this thing, we've given it to Cargo. So yeah. go and meet them. And yeah. when I went there, everything was there. The next day he came and assembled everything. Yeah. Then the next day, on the catfish the stocking so that's what we are catfish. doing today yeah. so you know um so he has been good to me i must be honest with oh, you okay thank if you. you are looking thank for someone you. Uh -huh. that you can give the project to to do it for you good. it is a phone plane good. it's going to deliver everything good. Just, the best. thank I you must be honest thank with you. you thank you i believe i believe in you know 
getting your head down and doing the job rather than talking plenty so sometimes when you when 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 i when i'm doing a project i don't like to talk too much or give you you know some people they want to know every day what what are you doing about my project okay. so i remember williams initially used to call me so yeah. boss uh, what is going on uh, okay, okay. but for me i knew i would deliver and i understood him because he didn't he didn't know me from anywhere we just spoke on phone i sent him the estimates and then he sent the payments for the project to get started so all in all guys this is our project i mean um it has been an experience for me so when we do videos like this people go like um they want to see details of the project yes every video has a purpose this video is to share a story let you know somebody's endurance or somebody's um persistence and at getting a project done there will be another video to show you the details of the project and you know what not but every video has a purpose and i believe that each one of us has learned something from mr williams story so boss finally you know a film tv is about inspiring the youth okay. what do you have to tell our team in youth you know you have uh, your own experience you traveled outside you wanted to go and seek for greener pastures it's not everybody that it works out for but there are some people out there who still are in your position it's not working out for them but they don't know what to come back and do for me i advise them to come back and get into farming agree whatever they want to do agree business anything what would be your advice to my people? advice would be especially um giving this advice especially to those that are living in dubai in because dubai. i've been there before and i know the condition the standard of living and everything over okay. there if you're in dubai and you think things are not working out for you the best thing for you to do is to come back to ghana invest in uh, uh, agriculture mm -hmm. and that will help the economy of ghana it's not about anytime important stuff and important stuff yeah. it's going to put pressure on our city yeah. you know and during the sixth march mm -hmm. i saw something that they've written that mm -hmm. uh, bouncing back to working together and bouncing back together yeah. so we all of us should come back Good. and work together Good. to bounce the economy of ghana great so great advice great advice so guys um thank you for i mean being on the channel um, i can't thank you guys enough you have built a film tv to what it is if today is your first time on this channel, I keep saying, click on the subscribe button, share this video. I mean, give us a comment. Uh, my numbers are on the screen. Give us a call. Let's talk about what you want to discuss and let's see how best we can all contribute our quota into developing our motherland. Ghana. So, this is the 15 by 15 and fits. Well, you can see it's a huge font. It's a very huge font. We... When we, when we do our sorting, this is where we are going to put some of the catfish. Now, what do you guys say? Now, you see, we've done our, you know, the outflow or the drainage systems. We've done everything. But in doing large scale projects like this, it sometimes also becomes very important to get you know some of these uh, pumps, these water pumps, these submersible pumps. Okay, so this is a 1.5, right? Yeah, this is a one, one horsepower. So this is a one horsepower uh, water pump. You have two of these. And then uh, there are two of these on this farm. What it does is that it easily sucks out the water or pumps out the water so that um, it's because this is a big pond. So if you want to allow for everything only through the drainage system, it might take a while. So this is one good investment that you might want to make if you are doing these things on a large scale. So guys, um, this is the end of our video. I hope you'll be inspired. I hope you'll be, um, you know, provoked into action. And then um, let's all make Ghana a great country and Africa the best continent. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.